Hi, it's Rob, and uh, I'm falling way behind on trying to get videos out. Uh, it's been quite a week, but um, this came. This is from the Mysterious Package Company. It was a Kickstarter. It's the Dimensions Pop-Up Mystery Manor, and it's still wrapped in plastic. Uh, I wanted to get this it's it was you know it was delayed as some things are but i'm going to open it now so i guess this is an unboxing video of sorts no assembly required Hundred <laughs> percent offline experience. I love this. Um, I've wanted this ever since I saw it on the Kickstarter. It's a. Uh, it, I'm a fan of the Mysterious Package Company. And I have several of their unique and fun items, including a tarot deck, which is making me very happy right now. Uh, but I want to see what's inside here and I've been holding off on opening it so that I could open it with you guys and I'm gonna to have to use two hands to open it so let me set the camera up here so I'm sorry about the angle but uh, I don't have my my overhead thing set up it's uh, <laughs> I'm still kind of working with uh, Stuff in process, in progress. Ah, there we go. You've arrived just in time. Do not enter the manor until you have a key. Oh, my goodness. And I just looked in here. This is kind of cool. It looks like a list of all the people that backed the Kickstarter. Ah, that's very cool. I kind of like that. And I found me in here. I'm up in uh, up in this golem. No, wait. Where is it? There I am. Right there. Hee hee hee. Okay. I've got the instruction booklet. Um, so. Oh, there's a nice... Uh, this is cool. You can listen to instruction. That's a nice touch. Do not explore the Papa Manor or the contents of the dossier until you see the following symbol or are ready to begin your investigation. Ah. All right. Well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. You can't unsee a solution to a puzzle. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's, there are puzzles. I can see that. All right, so I'm going to close this. I don't want to start getting into it yet. Oh. Oh my. Okay. That is, yes, okay. That is a solid. That is a solid. Okay, I like, like that. <laughs> Should use that to be able to read the uh, names in the in the cover. Uh, the bag of many tricks. I'm not sure what's in there yet. And here we have the whole the whole piece that pops up. Okay, I am not going to open this now. This is actually being saved for a special occasion. Oh, this is cool. A regifting kit. It's like once you've once you've played it, you can give it to someone else, and uh, they can play it and they can enjoy it. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, that's track to the bottom. Do not open yet. I left you the manor. Best not to try and open until you know the combination. All right, that's cool. 
So the contents of the uh, little black bag, there's a notebook in here for you to take notes. There's the hint book, which of course I'm not going to open. A pencil from Thornhill University. Nice. And a little uh, trinkety LED flashlight. It's kind of cool. Okay, I am not going to look in the dossier. I don't want to spoil this. I am looking forward to this as a very special time. Um, keeping it. So, uh, again, here is the QR code in case you do want to check this out. Um, I will say that the Mysterious Package Company has been pretty cool at uh, creating puzzles and um, things with artifacts that are really pretty stellar. I've been quite happy with the quality of what's been coming out. Uh, one of the other things that I got is, uh, this is a new one that they've done, uh, Escape from the Tinker's Trap. It's uh, it's like a board game escape room, which is unique and interesting. The puzzles in here are a lot harder <laughs> than uh, I am used to, so they take some work. I mean, it. This is they suggest a ninety-minute time for playing this. Uh, I think it took us ninety minutes to even approach solving the first puzzle, so. You know, I, we're not professionals at anything like this, but uh, I will say that this has been pretty fun so far. Another thing that I got, and this is not from the Mysterious Package Company, this is another Kickstarter, is the Stifling Dark. It is a... Well, it's a board game. One versus many hidden movement horror board game with an innovative line of sight mechanic for two to five players. I have no idea what this is like yet. Uh, I haven't opened it. I'm. Eh, what the heck? Let's let's give it a shot. I also got some uh, additional things, and some card sleeves, and a little expansion that comes with it, right? Or at least what the Kickstarter that I ordered. But let's see what's in here. And this is tougher to do. All right. Hang on. All right. Let's give this one a chance. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Core rules, adversary rules. Um, looks like the Game Master screen. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, it looks like there are at least three different scenarios in here, which is kind of nice. Um, any cards? Spirit cards, generation cards, dice. Um, all those are bases for the. Uh, I'm sure that there's some user user cardboard cutouts in here. Oh, nice! They provide bags. That's nice. I like that. And we've got all sorts of tokens in here. Yes, which are already die cut, and I don't want to take them apart quite yet. But. That is a very large, um, very large board game, and a very large board, and I'm not entirely sure what this is. Looks interesting, but for right now, I'm not going to uh, dig into it, because again, I want to save this for a time, 
when I have the time to go into it with friends. And you probably know where that's going to be. Uh, if you follow me at all, <laughs> yeah, you know. All right, uh, I don't know if that's all going to go together. Let's try and put these in. Well, all right. Let's try and put it back together the way it was. Those are not going to fit unless I take them out. Uh, I like how these are labeled. You've got adversary cards here, event cards here, other cards here, wound. I mean, if there's this is interesting. I'm I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. Let me open this and stack some of these in here. Okay, that is about as spicy as I'm going to get. Those don't seem to fit in quite like that. Let's try this way. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll put it all away for now. There are character sheets. This seems similar to some of the uh, um, Arkham Horror series. I mean, just the setup. I don't know the story entirely, but I am excited to give this a shot. And once again, I'm sorry for not having better content, but honestly, a lot of the stuff that I've been doing has been cleaning, dealing with work, dealing with paperwork, all this other stuff that has just been pressing on me, and uh, I haven't really had a lot of time to do anything fun. So, hopefully I'll get some more stuff out soon, I hope. I'm going to try and do some stuff this weekend, maybe I'll get some footage, but anyway, for right now, that's what I got. I will see you guys next time.